One of the main reasons is for the accessibility reason behind it, that if a, um, a screen reader is reading through the um, content on the slides, if they do not have unique slide titles, it makes it harder for a student to go back to a specific title and um, search for the information. So that's one of the main reasons. And um, it, it does help other students because they could actually go to the outline view and, um, and look at the content that way as well through the unique titles. I just make sure that every um, slide has a title on it and um, I will actually go through and um, I'll, I change my slides to PDFs and run a screen reader on the slides to make sure that it is portraying what I expect it to the students as they're going through on the screen readers. Um, another way that you could get around some of these things is to actually narrate your slides and then you can create a video from the slides and that makes it another form of um, media that the students can look at. So that's another way around it. One of the biggest pitfalls that I have seen is taking um, content from publishers because I have done extensive research on publisher content and often their PowerPoints are not accessible at all. And um, it does take some time to either get the company to make the adjustments or if you choose to do it yourself, um, it's, you know, it's time consuming. You know, you think you're selecting something that's going to save you time and it's taking you more time to set it up.